It says, so the, as the wicked perish at the presence of God, it says. Just like the wax melts before the fire, the wicked, they perish just at the presence of God. The beauty of God. I care for lost souls. You're perishing out here. You understand the nature? The Bible says sin is a transgression of the law. Okay, but how do you know these people are sinning? You're sinning. you got a cigarette in your hand, and you're dressed inappropriately. You should fear the Lord. The Bible says a godly woman is to dress modest, and you have cursings. You need help. Look, can I give you a Bible verse? Look, I care about you. Can I give you a Bible verse? Can give you? Let me just give you a Bible verse. Why do you want to curse God? Don't curse God. No, Don't cry. I come to give you a Bible. I come to give you a scripture. Better are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. I give you. Look, look, I will not be like your friends that give you a kiss on the cheek and say, oh, you look so pretty. You look so pretty tonight. You look so pretty tonight. No, the Bible says a godly woman says she dresses modestly or praises from God. A woman that fears the Lord. A woman that fears the Lord. She shall be praised. I want you to be praised by God. There's a glory that comes when you cover your body. The Bible says that God gave them skins to cover their bodies. You're going to cover your body. Look, man, you can't dress better than that. No, you need to fear God. The, look, you have a cursing, too. You have curses. Aren't you, aren't you afraid that you have cursings just no, come pouring out of you? Is that how you react you're to conviction? Down. When you get no, I tell you, I tell you that if you would what turn to God, God, God would help you, Why give you a new wardrobe. Oh, you're causing people to sin. Okay, what's Why would you want people to sin? And look at your body. You what's should wrong? cover your body. You should, you should, you shouldn't should smoke cigarettes and you shouldn't curse. There's a lot of things you shouldn't do. More importantly, what you should don't do that. Then you go to jail on top of it. Look, look. The Bible says this. The Bible says, come to the Lord, and you'll be a new creation in Christ. Behold, that? listen, I'm trying to tell you. Behold, old things will pass away, and all things become new. You get a new wardrobe when you come to Jesus. A new wardrobe in Christ. A new vocabulary in Christ. It says in 1 Peter chapter 2, it says, it says, cast away from you all hypocrisy, all malice, all deceit, evil speaking. Evil speaking, that's what the scripture says. I'm trying to tell you how to get out of the judgment. There's judgment coming for you and everybody else who doesn't believe in Jesus. Don't you believe in Jesus? You should believe in Jesus. I want you to be saved. Why are you so upset? The demons. That's what happens. Demons get in your life. Look, why do you justify that? You have, you have a lot of things that you're doing that are sinful and you shouldn't be doing. You know you have a conscience. Don't you have a conscience? Look, that alone, that alone condemns you the day of judgment. Don't repent. Jesus said if you don't repent, you're going to perish. What do you think about the girls who walk around in bikinis? Like the they're, they're following the devil. Yeah, look, the Bible says the devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus said, Jesus said, when you cause... Let me just give you my word. Can I give you this? Yeah, she, the Bible says that, that... Know this. There will be false, pe uh, false teachers among the people and false preachers among you. They will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them, and will bring unto themselves swift destruction for, for through them by whom the way of truth is blasphemed the bible says and many will follow their destructive ways oh the bible says that god did not spare the angels god did not spare the angels who sinned but cast them down to hell and deliver them in the chains of darkness to be reserved for the day of judgment Peter said, oh, he, he did not spare the ancient city, Sodom and Gomorrah, America, Sodom and Gomorrah, lesbianism, hello, listen up. Oh, the Bible says, oh, yeah, you think so. You don't think the people have ears to hear, but they do. Oh, they do. The word of God never returns void. It says it's like the rain that comes down from heaven, and the snow goes down and does not return thereof, but waters the earth. It causes it to bring forth in blood. So shall my word be that comes forth out of my mouth says the Lord. It will never return void this word that I speak to you. Oh, I tell you, you need to heed the word of God. For obedience is better than sacrifice. Oh, the Bible says. The Bible says. The Bible, that's what you need is the Bible. You need the Bible. That's what you need. That's what's wrong with your outfit. It's not in line with the Bible. The word of God. Jesus said, the word that I speak to you is not flesh. It is spirit, Jesus said. It doesn't profit you anything. Why don't you do what God's telling you to do? I gave you the Bible verse. Let me give you another one. No, the Bible, the, Jesus told me to do this. It's in, let me give you the verse. Let me give you the verse. Matthew 10, open your Bibles, Bible study here at Fort Myers Beach. People don't think that God wants me to, to use a bullhorn. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 10. Just listen, let's, 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 let's listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. 
Let's listen to what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. Because this commandment is for you too, young lady. You're commanded to preach the gospel too. Every creature, every person is commanded to preach the word of God, but you better be living the word of God. You better not be a hypocrite. I tell you, God judges me, but I tell you what, I'm not afraid of his judgment because I have Jesus Christ. He is the one. But I, this is why I'm here. Matthew 10, verse 27, Jesus said, Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. Whatever you hear in the ear, proclaim it from the housetops. Oh, that's the agent of the wicked one there. Agent of the wicked one. Jesus said, Jesus said that this, he said, God is a, the Bible says that God is a just judge and he is angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. It says if they do not turn back, if they don't turn from their sins, God's going to bend his bow. He's going to make for himself ready his instruments of death. He's, he, it says he's going to make his arrows as fiery shafts. It says he's going to turn their way upside down. The way of the wicked gets turned upside down. Oh, but I tell you what, when you're in Christ, I want to tell you all about the judgment of God because there is mercy. There is glory. There is beauty. Oh, I tell you, he is wonderful. The counselor, mighty God, prince of peace. I'm going to tell you, God, he, he is awesome. He is our ever-present help in time of need. In time of need, the God of Jacob is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is his name. Oh, it says, wait on him. Wait on him and he will exalt you to inherit the land. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, you know nowadays, you got all kinds of these you got all kinds of these antics, and you got all kinds of people that want to stop the preaching of the word, but why won't you open your hearts to God? The Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Oh, it says, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to everlasting life. Confession is made to everlasting life. That's why I confess to you, Jesus. The Bible says, the Bible says, meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them. For in doing so, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. That's 1 Timothy 4.15. I preach to you, I save myself and those who hear me. It says, if, brethren, if one of you does err from the truth and wanders away, and you do go and turn him back, know this. You save a sinner from the error of his way, a soul from death, and cover over a multitude of sins. A multitude of sins. Oh, you don't understand that sin is going to be your ruin if you don't repent. You better repent. Oh, I tell you, yeah, I'm crazy. I've lost my mind for Jesus because Jesus Christ became a curse for me. Jesus Christ became a curse for me because it is written. A curse is every man who hangs upon a tree. Jesus, he hung upon a tree, weeping and wailing. What, so that you can make a joke out of it? Oh, you don't understand. This could be your night. This could be your night, man, when you get called into account. Oh, oh Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Who can make straight... What God has made crooked, Solomon said. Who can make straight what the Almighty has made crooked? For know this, consider the work of God. In the day of prosperity, rejoice. But in the day of evil, consider God has made this and the other. Consider, oh yeah, you, yeah, you better... Yeah, you better, you better understand that you got a cup in your hand. The Bible says it's full of his indignation. It's going to be poured upon you full strength if you don't repent. Hey, you're on video, buddy. You're going to go to jail. Shut you off. Keep yelling. Yeah. You need to repent. You're on your way to hell. Hey, we're all going to hell. We're just going to live our life until we get there, you fucking idiot. Finally, one person telling the truth here. I just had someone tell the truth. They know they're headed for hell. At least... The Bible says, agree with your adversary quickly while you are along the way. You better agree with your adversary quickly, Jesus said in Matthew 5, your ever adversary. Oh, it's not the devil. I tell you, God is going to fight against you. He said, I come against you with the word of my mouth, Jesus said. He said, the presence of his glory. It says, he comes out of his mouth, a sword, a double-edged sword that pierces the very soul from spirit, bone from marrow, the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of your heart. You need a new heart. Ecclesiastes 18 verse 34 says this. Cast away from you all the transgressions. That's your cigar. Cast it away from you, it says. Cast away from you all your transgressions, which you have committed. And get for yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, says the Lord? The Lord has no pleasure in the death of a soul, but that you would turn and live. You have to turn and live. All the Bible says. Turn this from your wickedness. I'll turn from your wickedness. 
Oh, you need to understand that God is searching your hearts. The Bible says that God, that the Spirit, it says He searches the hearts. He knows the thoughts and reins of your heart. Oh, what are you going to do on the day of judgment? To the pure, all things are pure. But to the defiled, nothing is pure, Titus 1 says. Nothing is pure to you when you're defiled. Why won't you become pure? God can do it to you. God can save you. He saved me. If He saved me, I know He can save you. If He saved me, oh, I know He can save you. I was a terrible sinner. I was worse than you guys. I was, I was so lost. I was, I was the guy that, you, that, that probably would end up in a lecture chair. Oh, but I tell you what. Paul said that I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. I tell you, we're coming to a day and age where there's a lot less ignorance. There's a lot less unbelief. There's more willful sin. The Bible says if we sin willfully after receiving the knowledge of God, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. You profess to be a Christian. You go to church tomorrow. You go to church tomorrow continuing in sin. The Bible says there's no more sacrifice for sins. But a fearful, a certain fearful expectation of judgment. You see what Satan's trying to do? You see what Satan's trying to do? He's trying to take your attention off the Word of God. You need to listen to the Word that I'm speaking to you. It has the power to save your soul, the Bible says. The Word of God, it says, it has the power to save your soul. Receive with meekness the implanted Word which is able to save your soul. You must listen. Oh, I know. God's got your attention now. Now what are you going to do? You better go home and repent. You better go home and pray to God. Cry out to God in the secret place. Those who dwell in the secret place of the Almighty says they shall dwell, they shall abide under the shadow of His wings. You need to come to Him. I stretch out to you the gospel of grace and peace. Oh, but you got to understand there's a baptism of repentance. The axe is laid at the root of the tree to cut down every tree that does not bear fruit worthy of repentance. Are you repenting out here? Are you laughing at this thing? You don't understand. I know the terror of the Lord. I know that people, when they die in their pain, they gnaw their tongues off. The Bible says their worm never dies. Their fire is never quenched, Jesus said. Cut your hand off. If it causes you to sin, it'd be better for you to enter into life, Jesus said, having one hand, than to enter into hell fire having two hands. What is it going to profit you? What will it profit you to gain the whole world? And then in the end, lose your soul, Jesus said. What are you going to give in exchange for your soul? What is worth it? What's worth it? The pornography, is that really worth your soul? The drunkenness, is that worth your soul? God bless you. I like talk to Israel. I don't just shake people's hands. It's too serious. The Bible says many people profess to know God by their works, by their deeds. They're denying Him. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you, ma'am, for, your, for, for you agreeing with, with us. Oh, the Bible says, the Bible says, let them be confounded and brought to shame who wish me evil. Let them be brought to dishonor and driven backwards. Who, who plot my destruction? But let all those rejoice and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Oh, it says, let such as love his salvation say continually, let the Lord be magnified. For I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. For he is my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. God, the Bible says, you are in need of endurance. That after you've done the will of God, you might receive the blessing. For yet a little while he is coming. And he will not tarry, but the just shall live by faith. But if any man draws back, God will have no pleasure in them. God will have no pleasure in them. Oh, you worship yourself. Oh, you mock yourself. Oh, why do, why do you reject the word? Don't you understand the burden that I have for lost souls? Don't you understand? I want you to be saved. I want you to have forgiveness. I tell you, whatever it takes for God to save you, if this is what it's going to take, this is what it's going to take, they can bring it all, let it all out. Just let it all out. Have a good cry. Have a good cry. Let it all out. All godly sorrow brings repentance. But the sorrow of the world, the sorrow of the world brings death. The sorrow of this world, it produces death. I don't want you to die in the lake of fire, the second death. That's what it'll do to you. That's what it's going to do to you on the day of judgment. Oh, behold. Behold. His name, it comes from afar, burning with his anger. And his lips are full of indignation. His breath is like a devouring fire, and it reaches up to the neck, it says, like an overflowing stream. Like an overflowing stream, it says. To sift the nations with the sieve of futility, Isaiah said. There is a sieve of futility. Vanity of vanities. Everything is vanity, says the preacher. Moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. He sought out to set in order many proverbs. Yes, he found what was good and what was found was upright words of truth. 
Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For everything we brought into judgment, every secret theme, whether it be good or evil. Oh, I tell you what, evil slays the wicked, and those who hate the righteous, they shall be condemned. Oh, but to those who fear His name. Oh, Samuel said this. Samuel said this. Far be it from me that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. Oh, but only follow the good and the right way. Only fear God. So consider what great things he has done from you. Oh, but if you turn away, if you turn away, it says you'll be swept away, you and your king. You and your President Obama, you'll be swept away on the day of judgment. All the philosophies of men, vain conceit. Oh, the Bible says, why do the nations rage? Why do they plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth, they set themselves to against the Lord of Sabaoth. Oh, it says he will hold them in derision. He will speak to them in his deep displeasure. Oh, it says, Behold, behold, I set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I, he will rule them with a rod of iron. Oh, I, I care too much for you. No, no agreeance with you. I don't agree with you. No, you have a cursing over you. You need help. You need a blessing, forgiveness of sins when you repent and you trust in Jesus. And all those evil desires, all those evil desires will, will fade away. God can take away your evil and crooked and perverse heart, put in your heart, a humble heart, a meek heart. The meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. I want the abundance of peace. This is nothing but a bunch of evil stuff out there. Television, Hollywood, the crooked stuff on the internet. Do you understand that God, God has done this? God has allowed this? In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, All those who did not love the truth, Oh, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. God, for this reason, sent them. God sent them a strong delusion that they might believe the lie and be damned, all those who had pleasure in unrighteousness. They had pleasure in unrighteousness. They did not love the truth. you got to love the truth. His name is Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other life apart from Jesus. There's no other truth outside of Jesus. There's no other way outside of Jesus. All the way of the wise winds up or to escape from hell beneath. Oh, but he sets them on slippery slopes. He sets them on slippery slopes. God's coming. God's coming soon. God's coming soon. You better get ready. Your house is broken down. Jesus said, you be like servants who wait for their master. When their master comes in the third watch of the night and knocks on the door, you be like servants who open immediately to him, lest he find you carousing in the daytime. Oh, he said, I come not at the time you least at the time you expect me. No, you cannot. Why not? No. No, get your own bullhorn, buddy. I'm religious. No, you're religious. The religious people are the ones who killed oh, Jesus. Let me say something. No, you need to be born again. Oh, I'm You need to be living in the, in the power of God. I am. Walking in the let spirit. Me say oh, something. you're just a mocker. Oh, you got bad. Lord. Jesus said you know them by their fruits. Yeah. Man, where's the fruit? Woo! Oh, man. You My need. fruit's right here, buddy. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Coming out. Here comes the, the thoughts of your heart. Fruit, There's the truth. You're real religious, yeah. all right. Vain religion. Fruit. You got vain religion, man. Oh, get my fruit. You need help. You Come need on. deliverance. You know all the homosexuality, all the oh, blasphemies. Yeah, homosexuality. Bible says, hey, don't touch me, please. Don't, you're going to jail. Don't touch me. Come on, man. Bible says this. Yeah. Bible says, he who has no rule over his own spirit is like, a, is like a city broken down and without walls, it says. When you have no rule over your spirit, you're like a broken down city without walls, the proverb says. You need to have power over your spirit. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Paul said, I beat my body to bring it into subjection to myself, lest after I preach to others, I myself become a castaway. When I go home tonight, I'm going to be beating my body, saying, Lord God, let me not preach to these people, then I myself become a castaway. I speak as a sincerity with a clean conscience to you. I know, I know who God is in the Spirit. Jesus Christ, He spoke to me. He told me. Oh, He said, reject. Uh, one thing above everything He told me. Worldliness. I heard His voice in a vision. He said, worldliness. Because the God of this world has blinded the eyes of them that believe not, lest the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who shines in the face of God, would shine on them. Oh, God is shining. He is a light. He is the light that lighteth every man. Oh, oh I, lift his, I lift his name up. Jesus. Turn to Jesus. There you go. Hallelujah. Turn it over to somebody else. Now that you're done, you little dip wag. You guys are such God. a fucking joke. It's unbelievable. My God. Yeah, you got, you got nothing to do. You guys. Oh, we. We have a light. Yeah, I'm going to have a drink. Have fun. You have a job. You have a job. 
Does he have his uh, microphone? Yeah. No, um, yeah, no, you don't. Actually, I do with the dog. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You help society. <laughs> I do care about you guys. Yeah, you might not understand why we do what we do, You're but I seriously want to see you. about me? I seriously want to see you delivered. I'm seriously. You care about me? Of course, man. That's why I pour all my heart what out here. He's gay. That's good, man. Yeah. Bible says no homosexuals and enter the kingdom. Oh, well, but that, you should still love me. What God. I look, look, I just said I don't love you. What if I'm a Muslim? Look, look, Jesus says, many as I love, I rebuke and chase. What if I'm a Catholic? What if I'm Jewish? Are you listening to anything I'm saying? You still hate me then? No, I'm telling you that Jesus well, you said. you still love me. Can I give you this one Bible verse? you still love me? Will you listen enough to let me hear this one Bible Please tell me. Jesus says. Because my name is Jesus Christ, and I've been delivered to this planet to save you. Yeah? Not, I want to give you one verse, man. Give me a verse. Jesus says, many as I. It's a book. Is, you gonna listen? It's a book. <laughs> uh, what if what if I? I know, that, I know, I know. You're afraid of what, what it's gonna if, say. If I know I you're afraid of what it's gonna say. What if I believe that Harry Potter is God? It's a book, isn't it? Do you, you gonna let me give you the verse or not? Maybe Harry Potter's God. You don't have to. It's your choice. Man. I've read the Bible, man. I don't need to believe your bullshit. You don't think that God's got something to say? To you? Give me a verse from the Quran. Whatever, man. Give me you a can, Quran verse. You can, it's your choice. Come on, give me a verse. From I the want Quran. you to be blessed, man. Come on. I'm so blessed. Give me a verse from the Quran. You don't Quran. understand how blessed huh? I am. Muhammad Quran. didn't die for your sins. You don't believe in the Quran. Muhammad didn't die for your and my sins. Why not? God it says he didn't spare his own son. He Why gave. Don't you he, in the Quran? He, he delivered up his son for all, man. Why not? Because the Muhammad wasn't given for you and I. God didn't why? give Muhammad to us. Why is Why is the Quran any different? Because you need a sacrifice for your sins, like why I did. Is it any different? It's a blood sacrifice, pure how is blood. different? The what blood, about because there's no blood, man. What do you believe in Scientology? Without the shedding of the blood, there's no remission of sins. It's you read religion, the Bible? Man. Did you read the Bible? Yeah, no, yeah. religion is man-made. The Holy Spirit is is God. Is Scientology religion? You know you're gonna stand before your creator and give an account. Is it? You're, you you just got a bunch of lies, man. Is Scientology? I, I wanted religion? to give you one verse, and you wouldn't even let me give it to you. Is That's pretty sad. Scientology a religion? I really do care for you. I really want to see you deliver. Is the Quran and Muslim a religion? I pray God has is mercy it? on you. Huh? Is are they're Muslims false religion. religion. They're false. There's only one God. Look, how is do, it false? Look, do you have a different DNA strand than I have? Do you have a different kind of ribonucleic Dude, acids in so your DNA? Shit, it's unbelievable. The Bible says God made from one blood every nation of man to dwell on the face of the earth that they would grope for Him. Is, one blood, buddy. One is, God. Is atheism a religion? One God, man. You is know, it? you were created. I was created from one blood. Why aren't you answering my question? One blood, because there, there can't be multiple religions. Or else you'd have a different kind of blood than I have. Is it a religion? You have hemoglobin. Is you it have a white blood cells. Is you have epidermis. You have eyes, ears, is nose. Is it a religion? He who made the eyes, does he not see? <laughs> he who made the ear, does he not hear? Are he who instructs the nations, does he not correct and does he teach man knowledge? Is he teaches you knowledge. You the know. Quran you have a conscience. A religion. You have a conscience. Is it a religion? Bears witness that you're sinning. Is it a religion? Bears witness that you're sinning. Is it a religion? Is the Quran a religion? <laughs> Hey guys, I go through this is stuff the all the time. This is, nothing, this is nothing new to me, you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm blessed. Every moment that you that, you, that you go through religion? this thing, I'm blessed. I think I think God. Is it? Is it? Oh man. Tell me. Well, Come good on. good luck with that. You know, I really want, again repent, repent or perish. You're you, so full of shit. He said repent or perish, man. <laughs> Someone else can preach. <laughs> well, you have your mic. Your shit on everybody. <laughs> Well, how much do I have to hate someone not to see him saved from hell? It's a religion, man. Look, hell's forever. You can believe what you want. Hell's Don't push forever. Push it on everybody else. Hell's forever. I'm these, not pushing anything. All these people. Everybody, can what they want everybody to here came on their own volition, including you. I didn't push it on anybody. What they want to believe. I don't chase people down, tackle them down the road, and, and pin them down. No, say, you must believe either. in Jesus. I don't do that. I I you cry aloud. You the, got Bi a megaphone the Bible says to do it. Camera. Jesus said to do it, and he and told me this would be the reaction. Jesus said, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. That's what Jesus said. What about Allah? What did Allah say? Allah was full of the devil. <laughs> it's a religion, man. Exactly. It's false thing. religion. It's false. Exactly. So your religion isn't false. You know how I know it's false? Is. You know how I know it's false? How is that? Because, because it, it contradicts the how Bible. It contradicts the Bible. They say Jesus didn't die on the cross and that he wasn't raised from the dead. How can that be true so, and the Bible be true? So Christianity... One's Christianity either, hasn't killed millions of people. One's, the no, not one person has been it killed hasn't. from Christianity. Wars not, one, not one person has been killed from Christianity. Not one person. Because of your religion. No, false Christians have murdered people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. The, the, so lots of people that are in the military all, aren't Christians. All those crusades and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Even the Catholics. The yeah, Catholics, well, they were false people. They're Christians. not religious. Catholics. Oh, yeah, they killed real oh, Christians. Yeah, Did Catholics. you know they killed real Christians? Fuck Catholics, everybody. Why do you have a curse? What about Why do you have Jews? foul language? How about Jews? What about Jews? Why do you have foul language? How about Jews? The Jews, they were God's chosen people, and then the Messiah came and they missed it. So Are you, you a Jew? In Jews? I'm not no, a Jew. I just was asking. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Jew. Well, you're Nothing. lost. You're just lost like How everyone I else. Lost? I'm praying that God would open your I'm eyes. I'm just a human being. God needs to awaken you. So uh, tell me if this. If he doesn't awaken you, then tell you're blind. Okay, so a, a lion, right? Say a lion in the jungle. Uh -huh. Does a lion have a heart? Does a lion have a heart? Does a lion have a heart? No, we were creating God's image. Does buddy. a lion have a heart? He has a beating physical heart. Does a lion have lungs? Yeah, but a lion doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Does a Spirit. lion have lungs? 
Does the lion have a brain? Look, look, then go, the then go, then go tame your lion to drive Does your car to work. And go tame your lion to write your, your computer and pay brain? your bills. And go go marry a lion then and tell it to cook your meals every day if that's the analogy you want to make. Because God, 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 gave you, God gave you knowledge and he created you does in his image. The Bible says we're fearfully, wonderfully made in his image. Now, why are you rejecting the image? Does, does that a God lion gave? have a penis? Oh, oh, you know, you know, it? you know, you know. The fact of the matter is, is that you want to live like a lion. That's why you want to make all these analogies. You want to live like, like in bestiality. It, and, and they, the Bible says, the Bible says that they like natural. The Bible says they like natural brute beasts, meant to be caught and destroyed. They speak evil of things they do not understand, and they carouse. It says they count it pleasure to carouse. Does a lion? That's what you want to compare mankind. I want to be like a lion, so I can go hump every other lioness out there. You know, come on, man. You were, the Bible it says a lion created they created a man and woman. It says the marriage bed is undefiled, it says. But fornicators, fornicators, homosexuals, adulterers will be giraffe? judged.